Hello and welcome to the world of Android. Today I'm going to be talking about Root. Some of you guys have been asking me about this and some of my other YouTube things. You guys have been commenting and everything. So I figured I'd just go over it with you guys. Root. What is Root? Well, Root is the ability to gain super user permissions in your phone. So it's like being able to get into your computer and being able to overclock it to make it run faster and make it run smoother if you want and install a different operating system on it. For instance, like if you're running Windows on your computer and you wanted to say one day you wanted to install Linux on it. Okay. And you had it all locked down and you couldn't do it and you only could run Windows on it. With the ability to have root access is the ability to install Linux on top of Windows or have them both on the running at the same time but with your Android phone you only can have one so therefore if you're having the root you can install new custom ROMs that might make your phone run faster um, smoother than the stock therefore um, you have a better experience with it. Some of them gives you more options to be able to do more stuff than you did before. <clears throat> and so you have a better experience with it. Some people like stock and don't need all the extra features. That's cool with them. They can do what they want. But for us people who like to get in the nitty gritty and, you know, tear things apart and get everything all in doing what we wanted to do and tell it you're gonna do this or I don't know but yeah anyways so yeah you just tell it what to do cuz you the boss that's right you the boss so you gonna tell your phone what to do that's what root does I have a lot of people ask me does rooting my phone uh, make it faster or does it make it slower that question is very simple no it does nothing to that all it does is just gives you more access to internal. It has nothing to do with speed, making it faster or slower. But when you do root it and you install a custom ROM, you can make it run faster. You can install custom kernels and everything that you want. Therefore, you have a better experience. Um, should you root your phone? Well, it's up to you. If you want to root your phone, it's clearly up to you. If you're not into all the nitty gritty, technical geeky stuff like me, man, Oh, what's up with me? Get my vitamin C real quick. Um, yeah. If if you're not into doing all that nitty gritty stuff, then don't worry about rooting. Just stick with your stock phone. If you're happy with it, do that. If you want to make it go faster, do what you want to do it. Install custom stuff so you can hack it even better. Go right ahead. The advantages. One of the other advantages of having Root is installing custom ROMs, like I said before. I, every, every time I get a new phone, boom, if I can have the ability to root it, I root it right away. And then I go out there and I start searching, okay, who has a custom ROM out there? Then I install one of those, try them out, like I have for my HTC Sensation um, 4G T-Mobile version. I have Android um, Re Resolution HD with Beats Audio on it. So I said to me had to go out and get a Beats Audio Sensation. Already has it on there. They have already came out with one that has the ice cream sandwich on it now. You guys can get that if you want for your HTC Sensation, which is always a good plus. That still has some bugs in there. I believe that they're still fixing out, but eventually I will get it too and try it out. Um, that's one of the the major um, advantages of booting your phone is adding custom ROMs. You, you don't have to stick to the stock. Um, after you root your phone and install a custom ROM, you won't have over the air um, custom like download. So you always have to download from whatever ROM or person you decide to download from. And if you want, you change it out. Like, okay, I don't like this no more. Boom. Go to the next one. On to the next one. Uh, so that's one of the great perks about it and 
the last thing I can say about rooting is just modifying the phone to the, your liking. If you if you're good with uh, I believe it's Java and C plus plus and I don't know what the other one is. I, I forget what the other one is. Um, Java C plus uh, plus. There's one more. I can't think of it right now. It's the coding. I'm eventually gonna get to it myself. But um, and learn it. But you can, if you know how to do that, get in there and actually modify it. Create your own custom ROM if you really wanted to. Try it out yourself if you like it. You can be a developer just like everybody else. Go out there, boom, throw it out there. Everybody be like, yay! And you can get money, donations, all the other stuff. Some people like that. Um, I do YouTube videos. So if you guys like it, subscribe. You know, comment, all that goodness down below. So. Um, I try to help you guys out for the noobs who are not getting into the Android or the people who's already had Android and want to learn more about it. I'm going to try to um, come out with a series of everything. If you guys have questions and want me to upload a video for it, boom, just like, hey, can you make a video of such and such? And I'll get it right on there for you guys if I know um, what it is. So that's all the video is for this time. Next time I'm going to be going over... Um, custom ROMs. So, hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Being able to get into your computer and being able to overclock it to make it run faster, and make it run smoother if you want, and install a different operating system on it, for instance, like, if you're running, yeah, you just tell it what to do because you're the boss. That's right, you're the boss. So, you're going to tell your phone what to do. Install. That's what it does. I let people ask me, "Is ruining my phone?" Or, um, like,